this River City road trip, one of the places that we had to check out with Southern Soul Barbecue. Right now, I'm with Harrison Sapp, pit master and owner. The food looks amazing. It smells great here. And you guys know what you're doing because you have won a lot of awards. Yeah, um, we, we three years in a row, we won Best Barbecue in the South from Southern Living. So that's pretty impressive. How do you do that? How do you keep up with that type of consistency? Well, um, I get up every day at four o'clock and we just come in and do the same thing every day, really. You know, so it's kind of like practice, you know, every day. You just do it every day, same thing. And you've been doing it for a while because you started out with just a small little smoker before you even had a restaurant. Right, yeah, I mean, we started in the back of a coffee shop about 12 years ago, 13 years ago, and uh, um, it's grown gradually and gradually, you know, every year it gets a little bit better. And uh, um, it's gotten good, you yeah. know. Absolutely, that, that's an understatement. And then the other thing that's kind of unique is that you started out here on location, and then after about two years, you had a fire, so you had to rebuild everything. Right, yeah, everything burnt probably almost 10 years ago. Everything burnt, and you can see right there, see, you can see some of the burnt marks right there and uh, when you go in the bar. But we had to uh, rebuild. It took about nine months to rebuild everything. That is amazing. And obviously you guys did a really good job doing that because, well, let's just say right now, it's full throttle. The place is always packed. You have a great menu. So let's talk about the menu with these platters. What can people expect when they come out here? Uh, well, slow smoked food. I mean, everything we do is slow. It's home, homemade, everything. Uh, I don't use any gas. I don't use any other heat source it's just all oak wood from st simon's that we use for and it takes anywhere from three to 14 hours to cook with it. and then the consistency that's a really key part of what you do and you have to make sure when you put things in the smoker you were telling me they have to be even in the right places right yeah it's a, it's almost an art of knowing your cooker if you because you're when well, you're going to put 120 butts on a cooker and you, have, you want every one of them to come out the same we probably cook anywhere from 50 to 75 half chickens and you want every one of them to come out the same so you really have to know your cooker and know your times and it really is it, it, it's an art form it know? really is and you've mastered that art now when it comes to the menu you have everything from chicken to turkey to different types of pork so let's walk through some of the platters over here so what do we have on this side right here we have um, fried okra which is you know everybody in the south you, you know should like fried okra sure. I guess. but there's a <laughs> homemade um, collard greens Brunswick stew, uh, which Brunswick is right across the river. That's where I'm from. So we're, we're, we really like to do it, do our Brunswick stew right. We're really pretty well known for Brunswick stew also. And then we have the half chicken and the sliced turkey, which the half chicken takes anywhere from an hour to uh, three hours to cook. Depends wow. on how, how hot I'm cooking it. Turkey, the only thing we do is turkey breast. And it is, it's come a long way. We spray it with apple juice. We we give it a lot of love, and it takes it right at three and a half hours to cook. You know. Um, well, that looks delicious. And then moving over, we have more of the the pork side of things. Exactly. <laughs> this is where the good stuff. The pork. <laughs> You're not biased. <laughs> I'm not modest. I'm a pork guy. And uh, more stew, hush puppies, which everybody loves. Now, my favorite, and if you were to ask me, the two best meats here is the pulled pork and the uh, St. Louis style spare ribs. Uh, those have, are my favorites. I think that's what's put us on the map other than, you know, I mean, it's all good, but stew. And, and mean, what do you attribute that to? Man, that honestly, you know, I mean, honestly, I didn't even tell you. So all of this came because I was trying to make a six-year-old happy. And, you know, we were just <laughs> we were just talking about, uh, you know, my kid is about to graduate high school. When everything started, I quit my job and I went and got this cooker. And my wife let me put it in my backyard and, and I started trying recipes. And I did. I, I kept really good notes. But everything, all all the flavor profiles that you get off of off of all the meat and all the stuff was to make a six-year-old happy. If it didn't make a six-year-old happy I threw it in the trash and if it was too hot it went in the trash if it was too everything you know? wow and it really it's so the secret recipe is your son basically his it, taste it really is that and you know um, what I've learned over the years is sugar and pork fat is delicious Oh, I've learned that as well. <laughs> and one thing, a quick shout out to your son. He's headed out to the Jacksonville area because he's going to be attending JU. He is. He's going to JU. He he's, wants to be a naval officer and a, and a dolphin. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, which means that you will be in our neighborhood quite a bit visiting him. So you will have to stop by the studio. Oh, yes. I'm looking forward to stopping by the studio. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd like to cook y'all some ribs. <laughs> <laughs> we would like that as well. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to start eating. Now, if you want to learn more about Southern Soul, 
Soul Barbecue, you can simply go to the website, southernsoulbarbecue.com. Harrison, thank you so much for all your time and the food. Yeah, man, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming down, coming up. <laughs>